What's up gamers? Welcome back to some more Madden 18 Ultimate Team news. Today I'm going to give you a few key and essential tips that you need to be able to dominate early when the game is released and also be able to dominate the remainder of the year. Getting a W is always a great thing so go ahead smack that thumbs up button and if you're new to the channel smack that subscribe button. I'm going to be giving y'all more tips, more updates, and more news. You can see me right now on Mudhead. So the first thing you need to do, being that EA was generous and they put about 600 to 700 solos in the game. As soon as you get an EA access, as soon as you get the game on launch, three days early or on the release date, get straight into the solos, man. They got the solos, they got the... Uh, career mode or story mode and you can see I got Warren Moon right here on my Mudhead squad that is from playing the long shot then they got uh, Chris Carter legend and this is just an idea of what team I'm gonna be heading toward so and you can see I got all the same chemistries across because it's four different versions of everybody now right here in the background we got some gameplay but like I said it's a few key essential things you need to do and that's take advantage of the solos in the game when the game come out don't go and jump straight on head to head because they might not reset the records this year last year they reset the records because they had the uh, run pass glitch this year take your sweet time before you get online and start playing against other people that might put more hours in and have more free time than you to start labbing stuff you should get in your solos get all the coins all the pecs all the badges all the items that ea is going to give to us for free take advantage of it and also this year save 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 your coins even though you be itching and you want to upgrade fast this year from the looks of some of the gameplay, having uh, Chris Carter, Warren Moon, all them higher and uh, better tier cards is going to be big time in this year's game. See, last year you had Nickel Blitz, Dime Blitz, three, four cover, uh, three blitzes off the edge and stuff. So it didn't matter what kind of cards your opponent had. But this year, your overall in the cards that you have, it looks like it's going to make a big difference in the game. So like I said, if you got badges, whether they silver, bronze, gold, elite whatever else they come out with don't be in a rush to get rid of them save them up because last year they had badge masters with Fitzgerald and all these big time uh, players that you was able to get and a lot of people were selling their badges trying to get coins to upgrade their team real fast so you need to save certain items uh, especially badges but take advantage of the solos you should not even go online for I would say the first nine to ten days man and also when you plan your solos that is a perfect opportunity for lab sessions as if you if possible put it on the hardest level and the computer is going to do smarter things than what a human can do a humor he gonna sit back and spam as many plays as possible if you're looking at the gameplay right now you can see these youtubers is all about entertainment no kind of good tips these youtubers don't got no kind of good scheme they just like the YouTubers last year. A lot of YouTubers just came from nowhere last year because they had a glitchy game where you was able to do gun bunch over and over and over. You was able to do cross man over and over and over and all them glitchy things. This year, they leveled a lot of that out. So you need to get in there, get you a scheme together, something mediocre real life, uh, two tight end sets, uh, small packages. When you catch your opponent in nickel and dime defense, run it down their throat. Don't try to have highlight plays throwing it 40, 50 yards down the field all the time. That's unrealistic. People will get tired having five and six cornerbacks on the field all the time. You need to play your solos. You need to save your coins. You need to upgrade your team and then jump online after you got a scheme that you're comfortable with against different formations. Cover two, cover three, cover four, man coverage. And you got two or three plays that work against each one of them know what reads to make in this situation that situation we in the pound the ball reading the box three down linemen four down linemen uh, uh cornerback blitzing all that type of stuff then you are ready to dominate hit that thumbs up button man i got more tips for y'all you know i'm all about helping y'all out let's go